Right, Miranda, for some folks it's iCloud, for others it's Twitter, and to wit, uh, we bring back uh, Javier Manjarres, uh, managing editor of the Shark Tank political blog. Javier, Rick Perry uh, stays in the news these days, but with this particular story, apparently not for real good reason. Of course, he's still facing those two abuse of power charges, and he allegedly tweeted out the following, included with an unflattering picture of... Uh, the uh, the attorney there in Travis County, Rosemary Lindbergh. It it reads this along with that picture, quote: I don't always drive drunk at three times the legal alcohol limit, but when I do, I indict Governor Perry for calling me out about it. I, I am the most drunk Democrat in Texas. Uh, Javier, uh, Twitter has gotten a lot of people in trouble. What fallout can we expect uh, from this? Well, listen, that tweet is hilarious. Uh, look, I don't think we expect any fallout from this. Look, if you're thinking about anything that could affect him in 2016 with his uh, potential presidential run, it's way too early. A year from now, no one's going to care unless this, his, uh, his trial, if it goes to trial, uh, drags on it. But I don't think it will. Look, this was a hilarious tweet. Look, in his, in his uh, defense, uh, politicians like him and Cruz and Rubio, they all monitor their, their Twitter accounts and social media accounts, uh, but they all have handlers. So they have that plausible deniability to say, hey, this was not me who wrote it or, or sent it out, even though it is my personal account. Uh, that's his plausible deniability. I'm sure he had something to do with or he knew about it or he knew it was going out because they all do. I mean, in my experience with him and other people like him, uh, they know what happens. And, and again, no handler is going to risk their job and put out a tweet that is unauthorized. Well, it's interesting what you mention about this, Javier, because this did indeed come from Rick's authorized account, yeah. but shortly after it went out, the governor took to Twitter and had this to say, a tweet, <laughs> this is the original, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the one that got him in trouble. Uh, at any rate, uh, he put up this other a tweet just went out from my account that was unauthorized, I do not condone the tweet, and I have taking it down. Javier, too little, too late, or is the response for most of us just laughter rather well, than a source uh, of Well, a source of mine has told me that the dog he's holding up in that Twitter, uh, Twitter uh, uh, handle is the, the person who put out that tweet. Look, we're not going to know who did it. No one's going no to get fired over this. Maybe not openly, but maybe quietly. But again, there's n I don't think there's going to be any follow-up. That's a funny <laughs> picture, by the way. <laughs> but do you think it will, be, will it end up being on a T-shirt, Javier? That's what we really need to know, yeah, yeah, I, right? I think it's already so. on the T-shirt. I think it's already being printed. I think it was being printed a week ago. <laughs> well, yeah, but, but this does raise the topic. What, what Miranda just mentioned, we did have that T-shirt uh, for, right. for the pack. For twenty five dollars. That, that made a lot of that made some dough ostensibly for Rick Perry's pack right. to help candidates in the midterms. Does this continued irreverence or, or was this a bridge too far? I mean, is this going to have any backlash? No, I don't think it's going to have any back. It'll have enough backlash as, as, as far as the, the Democrat op, a Democrat operative or operatives are going to go with this. I'm sure they're going to try to make hay out of it. But at the end of the day, all the, they're going to draw more attention to the fact that this was a political witch hunt against Governor Perry, and it's going to make him look better than it's going to than than worse. If you would, this is nothing. So, do you think this will improve his chances for 2016? Who's got my vote so far? Yeah. Yeah, just by, just just by that T-shirt or exactly. <laughs> got it. All right. Well, I, again, Javier, I do have to point out this uh, on Newsmax TV. I believe in conversations with Steve Malsberg, my old house colleague. Tom Delay said, "Hey, wait a minute." You better be prepared to deal with this, Governor Perry, if this moves forward and a Travis County jury convicts you. That's what happened to Tom DeLay. Right. Is, is this a situation? You know how partisan Travis County, Texas is. Right. Can the governor walk? Well, again, this will only come into play if this gets that far. Look, he could walk. I mean, depending on, like, like the jury. I mean, if it goes that far and they convict him, you know, that'll prove problem problematic for him in 2016. But again, we're a year out. This is September 2014. Uh, let's talk about it midsummer next in 2015. I don't see it happening. Yeah, the, the only thing about it, I, and I enjoyed the whole deal, but if there are I problems... I can tell. Just there, a little bit. If, if there are problems with the, with the border <laughs> thing, it might be because he was doing a spoof of the, of the Dos Equis ads. And so that might... Uh, there, there it is again.
<laughs> the picture, you know, Photoshop does wonders, does it not? Th this I mean, can only help. I bet you Dos Equis, the makers of Dos Equis are just giddy over this because they're getting free earned media. Well, we will, we will see about that, uh, and we'll leave the libations to others. Javier Manjarras, we thank you for your thoughts on this, and we look forward to talking to you again. All righty. So, uh, your take on the Rick Perry tweet. Is it that big a deal? Did you get a kick out of it, as I obviously did? Why don't you tweet me your response at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also NewsmaxTV.com slash comment.